Hi guys. So I wanted to do a December book haul kind of thing and I was going through my books that I hauled or that I bought and I realized that I didn't buy a lot of books for myself. I'm just going to address this. I'm not on a book buying ban. I'm not going to do that. And you're going to see the books I'm going to read in the next... I'm going to try to get through these books in like the next few months. So you guys are going to see that. I am not on a book buying ban because over the last six months I think I bought like seven books for myself. Which is not a lot. And I don't buy, I don't go to the store and buy 15 books at Barnes & Noble because I don't have $500 to be able to do that. And if I do, whenever, whenever I get paid, I like to buy a book. Whether that be, you know, that day that I get paid or, you know, the day before I get paid again. It doesn't, I like to buy a book. That's just how it goes. I mean, I like to, I like to buy a book with the money that I made. I like to buy something that makes me happy doing something that makes me happy. I love my job. I love my job. So I love to buy something that makes me happy from doing something that makes me happy. So I'm not on a book buying ban because I don't buy books that often. You know, I don't go to Book Depository and spend $200 on 300, 300 books. You know what I mean? I don't do that. That being said, I got Barnes & Noble gift cards for my birth for Christmas. And <laughs> I got money for my birthday because my birthday and Christmas are so close together. And I got books for Christmas. So we're going to go through the books that I got in the month of December. Yep, we're gonna go in order. I got paid and I was like, I haven't bought a book in a while, I need to buy a book, I need like that like thing. I just, I just need a new book that I haven't read yet. And me and my best friend and her boyfriend were going to the movies. What were we seeing? I th we saw The Hobbit. We saw The Hobbit, and then we went to we went to Barnes and Noble, and then we saw The Hobbit. Oh my gosh, so good, so epic, so epic. I was like, I need a new book. It doesn't matter what book it is. Well, it does kind of, but I need a new book. I want a new book. I want something fresh. So. I went up to the young adult section and I saw Stolen and I was like, I have read this book. I've read this book already. I did a wrap up. You guys know how I feel about it. 4.75 out of 5 stars because if I feel like if I give it 5 stars it's a little too like, there's nothing wrong with this book. But there's nothing wrong with this book. Lucy Christopher did an, an incredible job um, writing a letter to her kidnapper that just, it, it's just incredible. It's an incredible book. I borrowed it from the library and I was like, I need this book. I borrowed it and I was like, I need this book. And so, well... What do you do when you need a book? You go to Barnes & Noble and you buy it. So I bought Stolen. I had it and I was like, I need this book. I'm going to buy this book and I'm going to love this book and I'm going to read the daylights out of this book. Love it. I, this is a book. This is in my top five. I will reread this book. 100%. And then I was like, I saw another book on the shelf and I was like, I need this book too. I saw the hardcover and the hardcover was $20. And I was like, 
I can't afford that. So I looked around and I found the paperback and I was like, oh my gosh, $10. So I got, forgive me, Leonard Peacock, because I've heard, um, Padfoot and Prongs talk about this and I have heard Reagan, I think, talk about this. So I was really intrigued and I want to read it. I've heard it sad. Uh, today is Leonard Peacock's birthday. It is also the day he will kill his former best friend and then himself with his grandfather's P-38 pistol. Maybe one day he'll believe that being different is okay. Important even. But not today. So, so excited. I'm going to read this. Um, so these are the two books I got early December. Like Decem December 17th, whenever The Hobbit came out. Um, so these are the books I got early December. And then, um, hadn't bought a book, hadn't bought a book, Christmas rolled around, and I got a bunch of books. So I'm going to go through the books that I got for Christmas. I got The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, because unlike 98% of the population, I have not read this book yet. So I'm going to read this book, and I'm very excited about that, and should be really, really, really good. So I'm excited for this. And then I got Ask the Passengers by A.S. King. Um, any A.S. King book I would have been okay with. I, I would want, I mean, anything, anything. Uh, so special and perfect and true and right, I'll hold it in my heart forever. Lauren Miracle said that. I don't know anything about Lauren Miracle, so I guess that's a good thing, because it's on the front. Um, so, I don't know. I know that the cover is gorgeous. I know that this video, can you see it? I know that this video doesn't do this cover any justice. This cover is beautiful. Um, yeah, so I got Ask the Passengers by A.S. King, and I'm really looking forward to reading this book. I'm going to look forward to reading all of these books, just so you know. And then, I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited. I don't know. I've... I've heard nothing but great things about this book. I got 172 Hours on the Moon by Johan Harstad. I have nothing to say other than how freaking excited I am to read this book. This book, uh, I'm so excited to read this book. So excited. Look, it has pictures in it. It has pictures that like, I'll just like cover this up, I'll cover this up, that like coincide with the story. Like, how cool is that? And they, like, I don't know. Like, I'm so excited to read this. 172 Hours on the Moon. I've heard it's creepy. I've heard it's weird. I've heard it's scary. I have heard really, really, really good things about it. So I'm very excited. Um, I'll save that one for last because I'm most excited about it. I got the most gorgeous book I have ever seen. The Retribution of Mara Dyer. So excited about this book. So excited. I'm like dying to read this series. I have heard great things. People that have read these books are amazed by how good they are. So I'm so excited to get into these books. So excited. Just, just can't. I can't! Can't even! Um, and then my boyfriend, my very loving, very dear boyfriend, um, dear boyfriend, got me All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. He also got me The Narrow Road to the Deep North by Richard Flanagan. I'm so excited about these books. I have not, I have heard that if you are new to um, historical fiction novels, that this book is a good book to kind of like dip your toes in to see if you like it, because it's not very long. It's like 330 pages. So it's not that long, and I've heard that you just you just fly through it. You just fly through it. Okay. Look at how cool that is. Like, I could keep this on my shelf without the desk jacket on it. It's just beautiful. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited to start these books. And then All the Light We Cannot See, Reagan from Peru's Project. This is her, like, top five favorite book. Top five favorite book from uh, Reagan from Proust Project. I know that this is a book. 
about a blind girl, a blind French girl, and a young Nazi youth who um, eventually meet up. But it's about like the blind girl's life and then the Nazi boy's life and they kind of just like live their lives and then they meet each other and it like, it like, I don't know. She said that like, I'm saying like a lot because I don't know what I'm talking about because I'm so excited. But it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I just like, I don't know. It's so pretty. I'm so excited. I like contemporary books. I love like books where things happen to people and they have to like overcome those challenges and it like shows them like becoming better people or it shows like how they like overcame that. So I love, I love books like that. I love books like this that are just so like I have a feeling this book is going to be powerful. And I know a lot of people say that and then they get disappointed. Not this book. Not this book. And not this book. I'm going to love these books. I'm going to love these books. I know it. I know it. I can feel it. I feel it in my bones. This is the book I wanted. This is like, if you didn't give me any other books and you just got me this book, I would be so happy. I'd be so happy. Like, it's this book and these two books. Like, I just, I just, I just wanted these books. Like, if you, if you only got me these three books for Christmas and nothing else, I would have been so happy. Horns. I got Horns by Joe Hill. <sighs> this is Pat Van Prong 07's favorite book. Favorite book. She has talked about this book a million times. She has reread it, like, eight times. Um, when it comes to revenge, the devil is in the details. Shoot. Uh, so, I've heard... Such I've heard such good things about this book. I'm so excited to start it. I have to smell it. It smells really good. It smells really good. What is that? Oh, oh, that smells good. Uh oh, I'm gonna get high. <coughs> I'm not actually dying. That was a joke. I got. <laughs> my boyfriend remembers everything and he truly loves me because he got me the entire book set the complete wreck series of unfortunate events that's what it says on the back look it's not a box set it's a complete wreck see isn't that cool and it has like um count olaf right here on the sides. It's so pretty. Look at it on the bottom. It's just so cool. You can see it on the top. I don't want to flip it over. I already opened it. <laughs> so I can't flip it over without the books falling out. They're all hardcover. Like, look at this. We'll get the first one out. They're all hardcover. And look at It's got deckled edges. It's just so exciting. I'm so excited to start these. I'm not to start these books, because I have read 1 through 11. I've read up to the Grim, Grim Grotto. So I haven't read 12 and 13. I got intimidated. Um, but I'm so excited. I'm so excited. He got me all 13 freaking books. All 13 series of Unfortunate Event books. I'm so excited. They look so pretty. Look at them. Aren't they pretty? Oh my gosh. I just, I'm so excited. And then, <laughs> more books. There are more books coming your way. Don't exit out of the video yet, just yet. My best friend got a Barnes & Noble gift card, and her sister got a Barnes & Noble gift card. I got Barnes & Noble gift cards. So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna buy books. I'm gonna buy books I've wanted for a while. And, um, went to Barnes & Noble, and I got The House of the Scorpion by Nancy Farmer, Farmer, Matteo Alacran, Alacran, was not born, he was harvested. So it's about a clone of a famous 
His DNA came from El Patron, lord of a country called Opium. So, uh, he's the clone of a famous drug dealer, I guess, or like mob boss. So excited. Reagan from Bruce Project loves these books. Um, the first one is called The House of the Scorpion, and the second one is called Lord of Opium. And I think I'm going to like this book, so I'm going to buy the second one. Hi guys! You're going to notice that this video is going to have... It's going to be... This was filmed at a different time. So the first part of this video is was filmed yesterday, or a couple of days ago, and then this part of the video is filmed now in a different outfit. It's going to be completely different because I didn't get to finish yesterday or a couple of days ago. So we're going to finish like super, super quick right now. I left off at Codename Verity, which Reagan from Proust Project loves. So I was like, hey, you know, if Reagan loves it, we like the same kind of books. I'll like it too. I don't know. So, I'm excited about that. I'm going to buy this. I'll get the sequel um, later. I don't know. Uh, Rose Under Fire, if you want to know what it's called. And then I got the beautiful, gorgeous, amazing editions of The Knife of Never Letting Go and The Ask and the Answer. I don't have Monsters of Men. Grrr. These are the only two at Barnes & Noble. I bought... These two books, House of the Scorpion, and Codename Verity with my Barnes & Noble gift cards. Um, but these books are gorgeous. <laughs> these books are beautiful. I was so, like, concerned that they were going to have the, like, ugly editions. Not that they're ugly. I don't like to use the word ugly. But they're just not what I would want. But <laughs> these books are incredible incredible looking. They're so beautiful. They're so beautiful and they have the like raised lettering on the front and it's like a different texture. I don't know. So cool. So freaking cool. And then I went to, I had some books to sell so I went to Half Price Books and I sold those and then I was wandering around seeing if they had a certain book I was looking for and then I was like oh my gosh I need that book and I need that book and I need that book. So I got three books. Um, I got Burn for Burn by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian. So excited. Look at how pretty this book is. Like, this book is so gorgeous. And look at it. It's freaking white! Like, the, the, like, book is white. And look at it. The lettering is gold. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. It's a beautiful book. I'm so excited. I've heard such good things. I looked it up on Goodreads. Four stars. It's like 3.7 stars. Amazing. Amazing. And then I got Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. Um, I went in looking for this book. And look at... Like, the spine is red. Like, how cool is that? And then you open it up, and the freaking book is red! It's so cool. I'm so excited. Um, didn't... I didn't get this... I didn't get the second or third books to these books because they didn't have them. Um, but I got Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo and it's so pretty. So pretty. And last but not least to finish off this video, a book I'm so freaking excited about. And it's a standalone book so I don't need to be purchasing any more books to complete this series. Unlike um, the Grisha trilogy and the Burn for Burn trilogy, it's these are trilogies, so I need to buy more books to complete this series. Wonder by R.J. Palacio is not a trilogy. It's not a duology. It's a standalone book. I'm so excited, and it comes with Julian's chapter, the Julian chapter. Um, it says, I won't describe what I look like. Whatever you're thinking, it's probably worse. And then, um, everybody has a story to tell, even the bully. The special edition of Wonder includes the original ebook bestseller, The Julian Chapter, in print for the first time. Finally, readers will hear from the most, co most controversial character in Wonder. Can he convince his new classmates that he's just like them despite appearances? So excited. Look at 
It's blue. And look at the spine is yellow! I just love these books. I'm so excited to start these books. Um, so that is it. <laughs> I just, seriously, I just needed to film like those five books. I just needed to get those five books done so I could complete this video. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching and supporting me. I really, really, really appreciate it. And I hope that you continue watching my videos and you continue enjoying what you're seeing. I love filming these and uploading them and editing them and uploading them and, you know, um, I love being able to go back and see the videos I've done. So, um, I don't know, it's just fun for me. Like, I'm having fun with this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe. Um, you don't even have to like the videos. Just subscribe. I mean, you could... Honestly, honestly, that's what I do. That's what I do. I'm like, I don't know if I like your videos, but I love who you are. I love you as a person, but I don't know if I like your videos, so I subscribe to them, but I don't watch their videos. Just so I can support them. Just so I can support them. That, I don't know. That sounds weird and probably really bad, but oh well. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, don't forget to subscribe and comment down below for suggestions you want to see for future videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.